Shalom, shalom, shalom. We know that the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, but Ecclesiasticus, this is Sirach, this is in the Apocrypha, chapter 11, verse 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. And with that being said, I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to you. How about Shimei Abishai? Hashem Rabbi Kakwadash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Seek an honor to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the sins of men, women, and children. The Duke consists of the one third. Shalom, shalom. So, marvel not. At the works of sinners. And why is that? Because as we continually strive for, for righteousness and we speak on the judgments that come because of evil, because of sin, and because of iniquity, it seems as if the, the wicked continue to progress, you know, um, continue to become viler, you know, more immoral. And in the sight of man, or should I say, a man that's not discerned spiritually or doesn't have the rubber chakodas to filter life through the scriptures, they would think that it would continue to go on forever. Right? This is on Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So that's why when you go to Sirach 11, it says, marvel not at the works of sinners. Now, remember, when you're reading Wisdom of Solomon, read reading Sirach, which is Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha, both books I just mentioned. And when you're also reading Ecclesiastes and Proverbs in the Old Testament, those books were written by Yahweh Shai, who in the world will be known as King Solomon. But you had to be spiritually discerned to understand that. So what he's saying is, Yes, these evils are happening. Well, hell, the Lord told us that evil days are ahead, that there shall be a day like no other. We're talking about Jacob's trouble. And remember, the devil knowing that he had but a short time, he's going to come down with, with great wrath. That's why it's like, why be marveled at all the evil, the wickedness and the depths that they're going to just to try to, to, uh, to complete their their agenda which they're not going to be able to complete because the lord said a bound that they cannot pass because you rule within the kingdom of men you got to understand as well the powers to be right now as we speak have been ordained by by the most high yahweh so the reason why the lord set up the basis of men to rule over us is punishment and to show his power i will set up the basis of men to rule the world just to show you my people israel my true power this is romans chapter 13 verse 1 let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there was no power but of god the powers that be are ordained of god so all the nations on the earth going way back to the babylonians all the way up until today the lord ruleth in the kingdom of man and he and he ruled and he set up who he wants to rule at that time so why why marvel at sinners? Job nine twenty four. The earth said the earth given to the the Lord said the Bible said the earth given to the hands of the wicked. Malachi the first chapter speak on Esau being the border of wickedness. Go look up Herod the Edomite. The Heronian dynasty consisted of who the Greco Roman Empire. Whoa well, damn! Alexander the Greek. He was the son of Philip of Macedonia. And guess what? They founded the quote unquote Greco Roman Empire. So who would the Edomites be? Who would Esau be today? They would call themselves Caucasian, the so-called white man, woman, and child. The secular history in and outside of the Bible. Going back to Sirach, the, the precept that we opened up with, Sirach 11 and 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. This ministry, abide. That's the balance of the Lord. There has to be a villain. And it has to be a hero. There has to be a uh, um, 
an ally. There has to be a foe. There has to be righteousness. There must be wickedness. Someone has to play those roles. So, for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. Why you think they said in that gecko commercial, so easy a caveman can do it? Because they came from the caves of, caves of the Caucasus Mountain. That's why they try to rewrite history and say that we evolved from cavemen and apes. No, because we, we possess more chromosomes than an ape. Or should I say, or any kind of primate. I think they're missing two chromosomes. So no, we didn't evolve. And if that's the case, how come all the other primates haven't evolved into humanoids? Homo sapiens. Stop it. Another story. Another story. Right? So Rock 11 and 22. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly. And suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. Flourish. Remember. Remember, remember what it said. It said, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. You don't work, you don't eat, right? Numbers don't lie. The angels record everything that we do. We think, we say, all of that. You know, that's why this wicked flesh that we in, man. We need new bodies, man. Wicked thoughts come to mind. You know, it's just it, wicked lusts. Lusting over another man's wife when you don't know she's married, but you're looking at her in a certain way that is lustful. It's just all off, man. The 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 there's no honor towards the elders of our society because our elders were children raising children. You know, and when I mean our elders, I mean like our senior citizens of the so-called Negro Latino Native American communities, because our women ruled over our household. You know. This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse, double on some of my elders at Great Millstone though. Hebrews 6 and 10. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name, which is Yahweh, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. What does minister mean? To serve. Service. Serve. So we can't be concerned or distracted with the things that's going on inside, you know, uh, uh, outside of the ministry in the world, unless it has something that correlates with the ministry, right? Because he that is a warrior for you, how shy we cannot be. Matter of fact, let me get that. I'm not gonna even butcher it. I'm far from one. Call all y'all my shot. It's beautiful. This is um Second Timothy chapter two. Verse 3 Thou therefore endure hardness As a good soldier of Yahweh Shammashiach how, how are the men of the Lord Enduring hardness Look at all the sinners Well we don't marvel at them Because we know what their end shall be But we have to strive against that Our backs are against the wall And we're outnumbered We're waiting for reinforcements That's Yahweh Shai and the angels Right This is a spiritual warfare people Ephesians 6 and 10 on down. 2 Timothy 2 and 4. No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen, who have chosen him to be a soldier. You've been chosen to be ranked, sir. Do you want to go AWOL? You know what happens when, when the soldier go AWOL? He gets no benefits. All of that stripped from him. And he gets a dishonorable discharge. So anyone that had their hand to the plow and took it off to go back into the world or to chase some girl or whatever it is that you wanted to do, you just went AWOL. And you get a dishonorable discharge. But guess what? Who am I to lay any charge to the most high to let? But come on. What, what else is there out there in the world? Matter of fact, let me get back to it. Sirach. So Chapter 11, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. Say not, what profit is there of my service, and what good thing shall I have hereafter? What? Again, say not, I have enough and possess many things, and what evil shall I have hereafter? 
and the day of prosperity, there is a forgiveness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. As we are living a mediocre life and able to go get food and water and first aid and, and, and indoor plumbing and electricity and all of that, right? Convenience. We still pray Jehovah about Shema Shai. Because when all hell breaks loose and we're going to be at our last drop of faith just to get a seal on that chariot, who the hell was everybody else investing in when everything was fine? Exactly. Sirach 11 and 24. Again, say not, I have enough and possess many things, and what evil shall I have hereafter? In the day of prosperity, there is a forgiveness of affliction, and in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death. To reward a man according to his ways. According to his ways. Man, that's beautiful. Because remember, the first resurrection, those who served on the Yahweh Shah shall be resurrected. Alright? So, what benefit is there to serve the Most High? You will be saved. And you'll be the, and you'll be of the first fruits. Now, going back to Ecclesiastes um, 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of man is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil an hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, Yahweh, which fear before him. So it's going to be well with us that fear the Lord. What is what? what hold on. That fear the Lord. What what is it to fear the Lord? So so it's gonna go well with those that fear the Lord. But what well, what is it to mean to fear the Lord? Job twenty eight and twenty eight. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. How was that? By cleaving unto the name of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, because the name of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is a strong tower. But there's no other name of the heaven wherein man might be saved. Remember that. But though they say, Lord, Lord, they shall not enter the kingdom of heaven because your house is going to say, Get away from me, you workers of iniquity. Don't call our name in vain. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 8 and 13. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow. Because he feareth not before God. So those of us who do fear Yahweh, we have a greater chance. A greater chance that, the only chance to be honest, than anyone who don't have a chance. Because they don't have faith. Remember, let us pray for one another because not all men have faith. And the worst kind of man you can run into in these last days is a man that don't have faith because that means he has no boundaries. Well, neither does your how your how shot when it comes to judgment. Because there's no respect to persons as well. So with that being said, pray was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Come on, Allah. Muflah Babal. Shalom.